Hello YouTube, welcome to Ambrose Landscaping YouTube channel. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about our six favorite apps that we use for our business. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first app that we're going to talk about is called Mile IQ. Now, Mile IQ is an app that tracks your drives that you take for your business. Um, a lot of landscapers, or even a lot of people, don't know this, but uh, you actually get back 56 cents a mile um, that is tax deductible in your business. And so what happens is that usually the old way of doing it was you had a you know a board where you would have to write down your miles, say in the truck, a clipboard where you write down your speedometer in the beginning of the day, and then at the end of the day, you have to write down what, you know, how many miles you drove, where you drove to, and then you had to add it all up at the end of the year. And if you're doing a lot of stops a day, it's kind of a lot of paperwork, and it's a lot of time that you're spending doing it. So what this app does is that on your phone, it tracks your GPS location, and what it drives, so say if you start from home and you drive to, uh, let's just say discount tire because that's where we drive to to maintain it. It will wherever you stop, it will show your location. So I can't. I have it right here on my phone. My camera won't adjust. You know, um, it won't adjust by. Oh wait, well it it won't adjust by itself. But I don't know if you can see that. Um, but it shows where you started and where you ended. I know it's really blurry. Hopefully I can try to get something up on the YouTube screen. Uh, what it does is it shows where you started, where you ended, and then you swipe left for personal, meaning it was a personal drive, or you swipe right for business. Uh, and this is really easy because then it adds up the miles for you, GPS, you know, of course, um, and then it adds it all at the end of the month. And then what's nice is that at the end of the year, when you go to do your taxes, you just download all the documents from each month, print them out, and then hand them to your accountant. And it's really simple compared to doing it like the old way. You know, I mean, like last year before we found this app, uh, the way that we had to do it was, like I said, we had to write down each day, okay, you know, this, and we drove this many days, and sometimes, you know, we weren't accurate, so you had to guess on your days by, you know, what jobs we took care of um, that day. And so what this is really nice, so like I said, I can't share you, hopefully, I'll take a screenshot, uh, but shows you, of course, uh, how many drives you took in that month, the miles driven so far that month, how much money that's worth, um, shows the date, um, shows so if I went from here to discount tire it shows well it's about estimated this much money is how much it cost that you'll get back some tax deductions how many miles that is and it's just really cool you get to put in you know whatever that name of the place is if you don't know so we can write down home to discount tire it's a very simple app to use I really like it and uh, it just tracks it all the time and um, just a really good app it's a time-saving app and then at night, right before you go to sleep, because everyone's on their phone, you just go through your phone and you go through your drives that you did that day and just swipe left for personal, swipe right, right for business. And this is very easy to use and I really like it. So uh, that app is $5.99 a month or it's $59.99 for the entire year. Sounds like a lot of money, but just remember that's actually tax deductible as well. Um, so. Just remember, anything you purchase for your business is tax deductible. Blah. Tax deductible. So it's really nice. So it sounds like a lot, but really the time that it's saving you from having to do it on paper, it's it's completely worth it. Because like I said, think about it. If you had to write down each day, uh, you know how many miles you've driven, who you drive, you know what jobs you've driven to, add your time up doing all that paperwork, and whatever you charge an hourly or whatever in your company. You know, it's nothing close to how much an app costs you for uh, a month. So uh, definitely take a look at it. Like I said, we'll, you know, put it up so you guys can kind of get some ideas. But uh, My Like You is the name of the app. So that's the first one we really like. So let's go ahead and get to the second one. All right. So the second one is uh, the weather app. Now, this one is it's free, which is great. And basically, for landscapers, you know, we got to know our weather. We got to know, especially if you're mowing or whatever project you have planned, you got to know what weather's heading your way. Uh, so this app's really cool because it tells you, you know, the next two weeks to the week. Sometimes, of course, they're not really accurate, but you, you kind of get a sense of what's going to happen. But it gives you about a week to two weeks of notice of what the weather's supposed to look like, 
what it's supposed to look like, but an hourly um, hourly timeline. It has a really good actually radar system where it shows you what's moving your way, and then that way you can track to see which way the clouds are ro um, rolling. Where I live, we have this thing called the uh, rain shadow effect, and I live right next to the mountains, and what happens is that when the clouds come off the coast of Washington over to these mountains, the mountains get dispersed and they go around the mountains, and so it doesn't rain where I'm at a lot. Usually when it says 90% chance of rain, it's not that much rain because you know the the mountains pretty much it rains so much in the mountains by the time it hits us it's either just a little bit or it goes around the mountains so uh, it's really cool but the the weather app is I think it's a definitely a must need especially for a landscaper uh, or even a lawn maintenance company uh, it's free it's in the Apple Store or on Android or whatever uh, I got an iPhone so I don't know how Android works but uh, another really good app it's free uh, I believe all landscapers should have it so. Uh, let's go ahead and get started with number three. All right, so the third app is called TurboScan. Now, TurboScan is uh, $3.99 in the App Store, um, and what this is mostly used for is for taking pictures of documents and sending them off to clients. Since we don't have a fax, since I don't think any person my age does fax or possibly doesn't even know how to do it, uh, this is a quick and easy way. All you do is there we go. All you do is simply take a picture using your phone and it gives it this effect of it looks like it was actually scanned on a printer or a fax machine. And then from there you can easily adjust um, you know the widths of the picture, what kind, you know, what color if you want a black and white or if you want a color. Um, and it's just really cool, and then you can easily email it off to someone. And we use this all the time, you know, when our clients call us saying we need your certificate of insurance or liability or your W-9 form, all we have to do is just fill it out, snap it with our photo, send it in an email, and it's really cool. It saves it all in there uh, in the program, and so um, that way if you ever have to go back to it, it's there. Like I said, $3.99, one-time fee. Um, it's helped us out so much. It's completely different from just taking a picture on your phone. Uh, so definitely take a look at it. I think they have maybe, a, there's, I mean, there's some other programs that are possibly free, but this is the one that we've used for the past uh, three or four years, uh, and it's just been a great app for our business. So uh, let's go ahead and get started with number four. All right, so number four is called Hours Tracker. Now, this is one I actually just downloaded last night. I've used it in the past. Um, didn't think it was important at first, but now it definitely really is. So what it is is that it's an app that tracks for and every time you show up at a job, you can save a radar distance. So say, for instance, we're going to use discount tire again as an example. Uh, if I show up in a certain parameter or perimeter of discount tire that I set in my phone on GPS, it will trigger my phone and tell me that you arrived at discount tire. I can then go in there and click clock in, and then that way I can track how many hours I'm at each job. And what this does is that it's important to know your numbers, important to know your hours, how many hours and time and how much time you're spending on each of your jobs. That way you can get a really good number of if you're bidding correctly, if you're overbidding, underbidding, if you need to raise your hours. Um, and that's actually why we downloaded it so we can and purchased it is so that we can know more about how much time are we really spending at each of our jobs. Uh, that way we have a better idea of if we're making profit in our business or not. So the app is uh, $8.99 in the Apple Store. Sounds like a lot, but what it can do for your company, I think it's completely worth it. And like I said, it's tax deductible. So remember to print out the receipt. Um, and it's just an overall, it's just an amazing app. Uh, I've used it before, the free trial. And so there's, there's three different ones. There's a free trial where you can only have two listings or two jobs. Uh, there's one for $5.99. I think it limits you at like five or ten clients or time clock-ins or whatever. The $8.99 one that I purchased was unlimited lock-ins or unlimited um, clients, I guess you could say, uh, which is why I purchased it because we have a lot more than that. Uh, so definitely, like I said, it's a good way of knowing how much time you're spending at each job. So uh, that's the fourth one. Let's go ahead and get started with the fifth one. All right, so the fifth one, it's uh, High Def Radar. And this one is free in the Apple Store. Uh, what's, it's just kind of like what's in the, the weather app as well. It's pretty much just a radar showing you exactly what's heading your way um, you know, with rain or storms and stuff like that. And there's a lot you can do to it. Like I said, it's free. Kind of gives you updates on everything going on. You can adjust it to where you can see how much rain is coming, the cloud cover, uh, where lightning strikes were like it's just really cool just how much there is it's free and uh, I usually use it all the time like I said the radar is pretty good it's not as good as the one on the weather app because the one on the weather app shows even the very tiny little bit of rain clouds this one only picks up really the large ones and so um, 
it's definitely worth giving it a shot. Like I said, since it's free, it's definitely worth taking a look into. Uh, we've used this one quite a bit just to kind of see what weather's heading our way, and it does a really good job at that. So um, high def radar, really cool, free. Go check it out, and let's get started with the last one. All right, so the last one that we're going to talk about is Outlook. Now, Outlook, it's a Microsoft, in a sense, Hotmail. It's pretty much your mail account. Um, on iPhones, of course, you know you have your you have your mail button, mail M A I L, not the f male gender, right? Okay, and so uh, you have your mail mail button where you can receive emails and um, all that kind of stuff on your phone. What I liked about the Outlook one though is that it will it does it a lot faster. For some reason, the mail on my phone, uh, the mail app, it sounds so funny. It um, it like updates itself like every 10 or 15 minutes, and we I do a lot of emailing to my clients. We don't do as much phone calls. It's more emails because a lot of the people are older. They don't have the time. I don't have time to pick up my phone, so it's a lot easier to send an email, you know, at night, late at night, or whatever I need to do it. And so, with the Outlook, I can get it instantly. Where the other app for the iPhone, it does it. It updates it every like 10, 15 minutes. So you're not getting it as fast, and I like to email my people as fast as possible. So what's nice about the Outlook, like I said, if it's a document or if it's someone, a contact in your email, it'll notify you really fast compared to the other one. Um, and what's nice about having both apps, I think, is that there's been times where, uh, you know, I'm trying to email someone on one of the, let's just say the Outlook app, and I need to look at a previous email from someone to like copy and paste what they sent or whatever. I can go to the other app, copy paste it send it over to the other one and it's really simple so it's i think it's really important to have um both of them so i don't think everyone has hotmail or has outlook if not like i said it's free definitely something to look into and uh it's been a good app so far we really like it so all right so those are our top six apps that we use uh for our business uh like i said some of them we've been using for a while some of them are new we're definitely trying them out uh, let us know what apps that you guys use for your business that have made you more profitable or makes your life just a lot simpler. So um, leave a comment, like, and subscribe. And thank you so much for watching this YouTube video. We'll try to get some videos up to you guys as soon as possible with the baby on the way due any day. She's five days overdue. And she's like a dad, a procrastinator. So we'll try to get some videos up. If not, we'll definitely get some up this winter because we'll have a lot more time. So. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you guys next time on Ambrose Landscaping.